This is your girl, Civil Disobedience, with your latest love and hip-hop New York review. So it opens up, and Chrissy is still selling wolf tickets, giving out them wolf cookies, talking about beating people up, watch your hands, and all of these things. And so... Yandy gives us calm, she gives us cool, she gives us collected, and I like why she said that. It has a lot to do with self-esteem. For you to feel like you have to approach the situation like you are a gangster or a thug in a high fashion setting is exactly why love and hip hop is in the ratchet category that it is in and not elevated to the level of a Real Housewives of Atlanta or uh, married to medicine Chrissy is too beautiful to be walking around barking like a dog in people's faces acting like she's gonna lock jaw and I feel like Yandy is right to show herself a professional businesswoman so Chrissy goes on to tell Yandy that she's a liar about doing business with big business aka Greg whoever he's supposed to be and I like Yandy's approach. It is about self-esteem because I have nothing to prove to you when I've gotten into the 30s and the 40s as far as my age is concerned. My job is to hold down my family. And so Chrissy is showing herself to not be as business savvy as she would want people to believe. So anyway, with that, Joe Budden goes shopping with Tahiri. And Erica Mena's is trying to hook them up. You know, they go shopping because they're trying to see what they're going to wear to Safari and Erica Mena's wedding. And this information is brought back to Juju and them. And they're like, Tahiri, you know, Joe and Sin are still trying to work out their situation. And Juju and them take it back to Sin. My thing is this with that situation if you're not sure that you're finished with your relationship do not walk away from your significant other male or female as if you're done because there's always someone who wants who you want okay nobody's the undesirable person so i feel sin's playing a little close not going on and opening up, up about what bothered her that was in her his phone Versus the fact that they could just be playing it up for a storyline, you know, this could just be all of a storyline. At the same time, I feel like Tahiri should be careful because I wouldn't want anyone labeling me a hoe. Now, Erica and Yandy had some kind of situation going on, and I don't know what Erica's problem is with Yandy. She doesn't want Safari to invite Yandy to the wedding. Why? I would love to know because Erica. And Yandy seemed to be fine as friends. However, when they met up in this little nightclub spot, Yandy was like, well, you asked uh, me, she was talking to Safari, was I coming or not? And Erica was like, wait, Safari, you invited her? She was kind of upset about it and all those things like that. And I find that funny. I find that hilarious. Erica was just five minutes ago telling Safari that she wants to be able to trust him at the same time she's bothering with Sin Santana's relationship. Who is her ex? Sin is her ex. She's bothering in her ex's relationship with Joe, trying to hook him up with Tahiri. But then at the end of the show, she's talking about how she expected Safari to be so honest with her. And here's my thing, ladies. Whatever your actions are, you are allowed to act and feel and do as you wish. However, don't become holier than thou when you find out that you're not the only person who can be deceitful and you're not the only person that can hold secrets. Because just like Erica's meddling in Sin's relationship, she could have that same situation going on between her and Safari okay so it's always best to tend to your own relationship don't worry about everyone else's um this is the information i've compiled for you guys comment below like this video and subscribe to petty as hell labelle this is civil disobedience peace